So as you can see, the uh, graft of Sophie's gift, bark graft, has healed and it is exploding with growth. I grafted it on a seven-year-old rootstock, which was fairly large. And you can see that when done correctly, these grafts, they take off because they're taking so much energy from the understock. Now, Sophie's gift is a fourth generation Ukrainian hybrid persimmon. It's a complex hybrid of Diospyros virginiana and Diospyros khaki. Now, the popular Nikita's gift has been available in the U.S. for about 25 years now. Um, this is two more generations after Nikita's gift. It is, it is offspring of Nikita's gift, but it is about uh, 40 years later. So this hybrid is very much a cultigen. It would not exist without human intervention. Um, the hybrids that were made initially between Virginiana and Khaki were grown in vitro. Um, they had to be uh, rescued from embryos that were not very viable. That's one of the issues with crossing Diospyros Virginiana with Diospyros, with Diospyros Khaki is the embryos of the seeds that are created are not particularly viable. Now, what are the goals of hybridizing these persimmons? Um, aside from being just a curiosity, these persimmons are very cold hardy. Nikita's gift, the grandmother of Sophie's gift, is only hardy to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Sophie's gift is hardy down to negative 20, which is a substantial uh, degree hardier than its grandparent. Um, and this is beneficial because you can grow them in colder climates. Another benefit of Sophie's Gift is that it's earlier, about three weeks earlier in bearing its fruit than Nikita's Gift. And that is also a benefit to those in shorter season climates. So the goal of breeding American persimmons with Asian persimmons is to increase their cold hardiness and to get a fruit with the flavor of an American persimmon, but the size of an Asian persimmon. Um, the American persimmon has a better, richer, more desirable flavor than the Asian, and um, it is basically a mixture of a domesticated species with a very semi-domesticated species. Now the fruit of Sophie's Gift is a substantial amount larger than your standard American persimmon um, and larger than Nikita's Gift. It is uh, on average 100 to 150 grams, which makes it about the size of a small Asian persimmon. And that is very, very cool. So the, the hybridizing efforts have worked to increase fruit size as well as cold hardiness, as well as the flavor of these particular uh, varieties. This variety also bears prolifically. It has lots of fruit that hang down uh, like orange pearls uh, when it is of bearing age. This one will probably bear a fruit next year, um, perhaps the year after. I'm not sure. It depends on how much it, it grows this season. Here's the second graft that I did on June 7th. It is now a month later and it has healed. I took off the clamp today and it is about to explode with growth very rapidly since it's midsummer now and hopefully it will harden off uh, before the end of the season we'll see